After the season, New York Giants general manager Dave Gettleman put the onus for the failed season on the defensive side of the ball. And there was some truth in that, the Giants are stocked with talent at the offensive skill positions, but they need to invest resources to add talent to the defensive side of the ball. Some of that will surely be acquiring top-tier talent and playmakers, but they will also look to invest some of their many late-round picks in players who might be a good return on investment. Temple defensive lineman Michael Dogbe will likely fly under the radar in a draft class which is absolutely stacked with talent on the defensive front, but he could be the type of sleeper for which the Giants are looking. Measurables height, 6 foot 3 weight, 280 pros compact, powerful lineman. Very strong, stands up double teams and can overpower single blockers. Shows good hand usage. Constantly using hands to create space and work past blockers. Flashes several pass rushing moves. Plays all over the defensive line, from defensive end to nose tackle. Wears a single digit number. Khan's length will be a concern for some teams. Lateral agility is an issue. First step is okay, but not great. Pass rushing upside is a question. Frame could be maxed out. Numbers of notes statistics from Dan Pizzuta Dog Bay was 10th among all defensive tackles in pressures last season with 30, per Sports Info Solutions. His six solo sacks tied for third and his seven total sacks were fewer than only Colorado's Mustafa Johnson. Dog Bay also led all NCAA defensive tackles with three forced fumbles in 2018. Prospect video What they're saying, an undersized interior defensive lineman, Dog Bay was highly disruptive and energetic blowing through gaps and wreaking havoc behind the line of scrimmage. He even saw a couple reps off the edge, showing good hand usage to corner. Interesting player who will likely need to prove his versatility consistently to have a shot in the NFL, John Ledyard, the Draft Network, Shrine Game Practice notes, does he fit the Giants? He does. The Giants acquired quite a few defensive linemen last year who play a similar role to Dog Bay, that is, a defensive lineman who can line up across the defensive line depending on down, distance, and sub-package. He isn't as tall as players like Kerry Wynn, Josh Morrow, or RJ McIntosh, but he is as powerful as any of them and uses his hands well to keep his chest clean. Lateral agility is an issue for him, and while he can show a good first step, he isn't truly explosive. That might limit him as a pass rusher, but his power, leverage, and ability to when I listed dog base strengths, the last one was, where's a single digit number? That isn't a strength in and of itself, but when you see a temple defender wearing a single digit, it conveys all kinds of things. It is school shorthand for a player who is tough, hard-nosed, has a non-stop motor, is always one of the hardest working guys on the field. Dog Bay probably won't have the pre-draft rise that players like Mohamed Wilkerson or Hayson Reddick had, but he could be a sleeper to keep your eye on.